guys. I've got this, uh, I took my son to let him ride his go-kart and um, he had a little accident with it and um, it's due to this thing has got uh, bump steer really bad and he hit a bump close to the railroad tracks and it jerked him up onto the railroad tracks and the driver tire went over the rail and got stuck we had to get it off but I'm gonna show you the problem on it um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button and then to get future videos hit the little bell and then click um, all videos and you will get um, future notifications of all of my videos if you like the video leave me a like you got a question or a comment leave it in the comments and guys if you want to see this thing bump steer go back and watch the video of him riding it you can see that left front tire jerk every time he goes through a puddle or hits a bump and i've tried to leave a link in the description so you can click that link but uh let's get started on showing you what we got going on here we've already fixed this side now if you look that tie rod end that's the gold piece right here that piece there if you look at the alignment of it it's aligned up with this upper a arm it's a little off on the lower a arm but it's really close well the problem was this tie rod end was on the top going in from the top and the nut was on the bottom so then it wasn't aligned correctly so when he hit a bump the tie rod end was pu actually pushing out on the tire and making it bump steer so every time he hit a bump it would turn the wheel would turn without him turning the steering wheel and if you look at the other side it's not been fixed see how it's not straight with the upper control arm there's like two inches in the closest to the tire and then there's like three inches towards the rack and pinion so I'm going to show you what it does when I push down on this side that's not fixed versus the side that is fixed and then we're going to take this part this side apart and show y'all what to do all right guys i'm gonna push down on the go-kart and watch the tire it goes out and that's exactly what it's doing when it's hitting a bump so i'm gonna push down on it now can you see that tire go out all right guys this is the other side that we fix, that we move the tire rod into the bottom of your spindle. And if you watch it, it moves, but the whole tire is going out. And that's okay. It might get a little bit of uh, steer, but it's nowhere near like the other side. So I'm gonna push down on it now. See, the whole thing is moving out. And that's okay. You just don't want it to steer when you push down on the go cart. All right, this side one more time. I'm gonna show you the the bad side, and I'm gonna push down on it and watch the tire. You see it turning? It's turning to the right that way on the front of the tire. Now let's do the other side. All right, now we're gonna do this side. This is the side we fixed. And I'm gonna push down on it. All right, guys, let's get this thing apart on this side. Um, I 
take all these cutter pins out. You want to take this cotter pin out right here. Take the tie rod end cotter pin out. On the bottom down here. There's one there. And this tie rod will just lift out. You want to loosen this nut on the tie rod end side, the outer tie rod end. And then you want to loosen this nut on the inner tie rod end. And then something else that's wrong too. This nut on the top, this should be a castle nut, not a stop nut. It's got a cotter pin going through it, but that's not going to stop it from keeping the nut from backing out. It'll just keep it from vibrating all the way off. But if it had a castle nut, it wouldn't back off at all. So I'm going to run to the hardware store later and I'll change those out to castle nuts on both sides. For now, I'm going to get the tie rod in loose. I want you to get this cotter pinned out on both sides, even the other side. This nut was loose. I could just turn it with my fingers. It wasn't even tight. It was like that from the factory. Now, I don't know if the people that put it together did this or if the factory did this. Because there is some assembly, but whoever put it together needs to make sure they're tightening these stuff up and use the right pieces. You just lift that out. It's not like a car where it's really hard to get in there. All right, this piece that the tie rod end goes in on the top, it's exactly the same on the bottom. Let me show you the bottom of it. So see the piece on the bottom right there, it's made exactly the same as it is on the top and it's this piece is flush with the bottom of that so it's just like putting it here but you're going to just flip the tie rod end over and put it in from the bottom all right all this was already loose so none of this was tight this one's tight but in order to get that to go there you've got to do this and then this top nut has to be loose for you to do that and i believe that's 18 millimeter no it's 17 my pop 17 nut. see that wasn't even tight i just loosen that right up the only reason you're loosening this is to give you a little bit more flexibility in your uh, spindle to get that tie rod in there from the bottom. So, and then you'll have to realign the goat cart the best you can and um, go from there. I'm gonna break this loose. Turn this tie rod end out. And then you want it, you want it about even space here versus up here. So right here, there you see a lot of threads right there. And then on the back side, there's very little threads. You want to turn this out until they're pretty close to even. And once you get that pretty close, put that up in that hole, and you'll have to wiggle it a little bit to get it to go through, but it will go. It's through there. And if you don't loosen this top nut, it won't go up in there because there's not enough flex in the in the spindle. But then once that's in there, you can tighten this top nut back up. The 
put your cotter pin through there, not that it does any good. But it'll at least keep the nut, if it does vibrate loose, it won't come all the way off. But we're gonna get castle nuts for it. Next time I'm at the hardware store, and then just put this castle nut on your tie rod. Tighten it up, it's 19 millimeter. don't have to be super tight it's just tight enough to get that lined up with a hole for your cotter pin to go through like that I don't want it loose but you don't have to be super tight like on a car now we're ready to align it all right that's the left side, just judging it from the back tire up to the front tire. It's pretty straight. And then this is the one we just did. It's pretty close, but it looks like it's turned in just a little on the front side. So that means I need to pull the back in with the tie rod. The center of this sleeve adjuster has flat spots in it for a wrench. And it's 14 millimeter, it fits right there. And then you can turn this and it will adjust it whichever way you need to go. On this one, up is bringing it in And so down would be bringing it back out. And we needed to go in, so there. Turned it a few times, so let's check it again. And here's the right side. Judging it from the back wheel. What do you guys think? That looks pretty straight to me. Let's go like the other side. Pretty doggone close. Let's do it again. It looks straight to me. About as straight as we're going to get it. Now you just want to take these nuts and run them up against the sleeve on both sides. like that. That was against the sleeve and then that one against the sleeve. And then you want to hold the sleeve with a wrench right where you have it. Just like that. And then tighten your two your two uh, nuts up. These nuts. While you're holding this in, in place. pretty tight so they don't come back loose while he's riding and there you go guys it's done and let's check the bump steer on this side again let's see what we got I'm going to push down on it now. If you notice, the whole thing's going out. It's not turning anymore. So that's a fix for these go-karts, and you don't even need any parts. One thing the manufacturer could do is down here, if you look at this tie rod, see the angle it's going? What they need to do is make this part to where it's straight. And then this piece needs to be at a little bit of an angle to where this is more straight up and down. 
with this. This piece is straight with this. Because what's happening, this moves inside this tie rod, this center piece right there. And it's all the way as far as it goes this way when you put it up in there. To more center it up, they can angle this piece at a slight angle. And then this would be straight, lined up with this, and then it would angle up, and then this would thread in it. And that would help the alignment. So that's an upgrade part that they could come up with for these goat carts. That would work great. Or another fix for it is this piece that's welded to the spindle. They could have dropped it down the distance of the thickness of that, which is which is about a half inch. They could drop this and weld it down. They could weld this down here about a half inch. And then your tie rod could still go in from the top and the alignment would be correct. So they could either fix it here or fix it on that tie rod. Either way, I would probably prefer they just drop this down on the spindle and weld it up, weld it up about a half inch farther down. And then that would fix it also. Guys, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And then to get future videos, hit the little bell. And then click um, all videos and you will get um, future notifications of all of my videos. If you like the video, leave me a like. If you got a question or a comment, leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.